Hello there, so just quick, super quick preview of Schwab mobile app. Uh, it's quite popular app, as you can see for the users of this service, 618 ratings. Um, and then, yeah, buy and sell stocks, ETF, mutual funds, options, and more right from your phone. We are committed to transparent pricing and low cost. Transfer as many accounts as you want to Schwab. Get more details by Schwab.com pricing. So yeah, like uh, Charles Schwab is one of the you know oldest uh, apps like to do uh, in investment, and uh, some people uh, like uh, say it's like it's just too complicated, especially if you just go on a desktop. It's like you, it feels like you need to be like really a professional trader, not just like a person who just starting out. Um, that's why you have a bunch of apps like Robinhood and all of that. But still, you can say that it's like pretty, you know, traditional, but it's a stable app kind of, and it's very well-known institution. So some people like to be conservative with their finances. They don't like, you know, day trading like on Robinhood, putting like hundreds of dollars here and there, like uh, every five minutes. So like, and they just prefer like these more conservative services. Um, so yeah, here you can just open an account, um, open and fund your account and get $101 from Schwab to sl split equally across the top five stocks in the S&P 500 plus education and tools to help you take the first step. Then you can just open any types of accounts. There are a bunch of those brokerage, retirement, automated investing, checking, custodial, small business, estate planning, independent advisor solutions. So yeah, for example, you want to open this up in open individual brokerage retirement. So you can uh, open traditional IRA automated investing. So you can also open that checking. Um, uh, so yeah, small business estate planning, independent advisor solutions. So you can also try uh, that out. Um, So yeah, that's what you can do. For example, I want to open automated investment account, open Schwab Intelligent Portfolio, and then I will just be redirected to the website because yeah, usually in these banks, you can only create an account on the website, not in the app. And then uh, the process can be quite long. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's not easy. Uh, so then you can just uh, see what they want to use this account for saving for retirement. And then you can just select. How much do you want to invest to get started? How many years from now will you need to start withdrawing funds from this account? How much do you want to contribute each month? And then, for example, that's uh, what you can see some projections. How much investment value fluctuation would you be comfortable with one year from now? And then here is just kind of select Okay, let's select this option. Uh, and then you can just, this can be your asset allocation. So stocks, 64%, uh, fixed income, uh, commodities and cash. Uh, and then you can just regulate, regulate it on this slider. Uh, with portfolio with higher risk and return potential with have more stocks, which generally means you're willing to tolerate more fluctuation in your initial investment over the course of a year. A portfolio with lower risk and return potential will have more fixed income. Um, so uh, yeah, something like that. So then you can just dedicate more to stocks and um, 
or you can just select this and then you will have fixed income and it's like a pretty interesting calculator i would like to have a globally diversified portfolio i would like to have more exposure to us investments and then here you can just see for example asset allocations which you can have like stocks 64 percent uh, us large company stocks uh, And then fixed income, uh, which is being divided to bonds, treasuries, inflation protected bonds, investment grade corporate bonds, international, and then commodities, it's like gold, and then cash like 8.5%. So yeah, that's what you can have. Uh, minimum investment to start $5,000, no advisory fee charged. So that's what, where you can just start and it's like long onboarding process. So here you can just do that. And then, yeah, uh, so what you will need. Uh, social security number or tax identification number, U.S. permanent resident address, employer's name, and mailing address if applicable. So there you have it. Uh, these three things you need to have to create an account. And then, yeah, just provide your personal information and SSR and date of birth, and you can proceed from here. So yeah, it's kind of a long process, but you can do it from here just from your phone. Hope that is helpful.